All right, guys, we are going to talk about the cell is the cell project here. All right, so I have an example of one right here that's getting ready to pop up. So you can kind of see what it looks like. And in this case, the kids decide to do a cell is like the Wizard of Oz. So they have all their parts here. You can see they have labeled up theirs by using numbers, so like number one. You can see they have the number one right there. And that's the cell membrane. And they've numbered everything in here like that. Now, if we were in class, I would give you guys some materials that you guys could make your own cell like this with. But since you're at home, I'm just going to ask that you draw one out, or if you, if you want to use materials, you can. You do not have to. You can just simply draw a large cell out and draw the parts in there. Now, I am no artist by any means, but I can, I can, I can draw something sloppy, or I can try to put some effort into it. I'm just asking that you guys put some effort into it, even if you're not an artist. Um, so this... There's this, it happens to be a cell is like Wizard of Oz. Now what I always do and what I tell them to do in the past is think of your protein first. What is your protein? So for the Wizard of Oz, um, gosh, I'm not, let's find the ribosome because the ribosome makes the protein. So ribosome is the Wicked Witch. So I don't know what the Wicked Witch was making. Maybe it was making Dorothy find Emerald City. I don't know, and the Wicked Witch was the cause of that. But then the ribosome, I would go to nucleolus. What makes the Wicked Witch or what helps her or in some way? So ribosome, the nucleolus makes it, the crystal ball. So the crystal ball does help the Wicked Witch. So in my head, even though, and they did explain this to me, but even though they're not here to explain it now, in my head that makes sense. Like I'm going to have a, a protein, and my protein is made by the ribosome, the Wicked Witch, and the Wicked Witch is made by the crystal ball because the crystal ball is showing her stuff. All right, so then it goes through the cell membrane is like the outer layer, so they say that's Kansas. The ER is uh, transport, so the yellow brick road makes a ton of sense to me. The uh, cytoplasm is just kind of all the stuff in between here. They used ruby slippers, and it says it, they, it held everything into place like the ruby slippers did. Um, the nucleus is Dorothy because she's controlling what's happening in the movie. Um, the mitochondria, Oz, they, they're calling Oz as the energy center, which makes sense. The lysosome, Glinda, she's breaking out and cleaning things up. And you can think of like Glinda the Good, which she comes in at the end and kind of cleans everything up. Um, and the Golgi body, they process and package and they use flying monkeys for that. Now, in your head, it has to make sense to you because when you come back to school, I'm going to have you guys write out to me exactly why this makes sense. Or not, you know, don't even necessarily have to write it out to me. We'll just talk about it. So you'll need to be able to tell me, like, why? Why did you use flying monkeys here? And, I mean, it, as long as it makes sense to you and you can explain that, then that's fine. All right, so here is the actual grading rubric. So you're going to build the cell, or for in your guys' case, it may just be drawing it out. So you need to make sure that you have cell membrane, the rough ER, smooth ER. Um, once again, you can kind of do that with the rep ER, smooth ER. You're going to have cytoplasm, nucleus, nucleolus, mitochondria, lysosome, ribosome, and Golgi. Now, your cell notes are going to come in handy for this. Your cell notes are going to show you what these things look like, and that cell note page also has uh, the small description, and you're, you'll be able to label them off of that, okay? So make sure you have a small description and that it's labeled and that it's there, all right? So I need to see it. I need to see a label and I need to see a small description. That's how you're getting the three points for each one. All right, now down here, uh, use of colors or objects for different organelles. Obviously, you guys, we're, you're not here, so you can't use the different objects. But I'm going to look at basically, did you, did you actually draw them the way they should look? So if you're drawing this out, like actually draw them how they should look. Don't give me like a nucleus and a big circle. So I don't want to see something like this, like where you guys have, and you can do this on the computer too. So let me find here, let me see here. Let me draw, see here, insert a drawing. So I don't want to see something where you guys have done this, where you're like, okay, I'm going to put a big circle here. And then I'm going to put another circle here. 
And now I'm going to put another circle here, and that's my gold G. If you're going to do a gold G, you could do something like this. You could do that. And then you could do another one, because the gold G kind of looks like flattened sacks. So you could keep doing that, and that would be your gold G. All right, that could be a gold G, but this one right here cannot be. You're not going to just do a bunch of circles for me. You're not going to be like, oh, okay, and my ER is right here by the, that. Like, actually try to show me what they look like, all right? Now, some of them are circles. The lysosomes are circles. Ribosomes are just little circles. Your nucleus, your nucleolus. But your Golgi, your mitochondria, you could do this for your mitochondria, but then you would also need to do kind of like a zigzag line in there. So I would need to do a line here. Oh, no, it's not going to let me. I would need to somehow, guys, you're probably better at this than I am. I would need to do like a zigzag line through there. That shows mitochondria. Um, but anyways, you can use the computer if you want. Just make sure they look like they're supposed to. All right, let me get rid of that. All right, overall neatness. Okay, this is worth quite a few points, this project. So let's make sure that it's really neat. Um, is it easy to read? So if you're doing it by hand, make sure that I'm able to read things. No spelling mistakes. Did you use a ruler? And why I say that is because sometimes I get these and the people that have used, uh, oh gosh, let me go back to the picture that I have here. So you can see how everything kind of looks nice and neat and straight. I have people that will start at number one here and as they go, like their, their reading and their writing, it starts angling. So make sure you're writing in straight lines here. So that's what I'm talking about for that. No smudges. That means if you've messed up, don't just like smudge it. Now this over here is because of me, because this is old and I've had it in my room. Um, but you can see it, it's all nice and neat. There's no smudges, there, there's no mark outs, anything like that. All right, now if you were here, I would say turn in this paper with the project and you would get points. Now if you're going to turn it into me online, obviously the paper's there, you're going to get those points. If you come back to school and, we, and you turn it into me then, then just make sure that you have this paper. If you need a paper, if you've been doing everything online, if you need a paper, let me know. I'll have some for you then. Um, here's the project. Here is, because all we've talked about so far is this side. Actually drawing and labeling. So they drew it, they labeled with the numbers, and they told me what it does. Let's things in and out. Transports. Now this, the Kansas, the Yellow Brick Road, that is this part. So, did you include what your cell membrane is? It's Kansas. Does it make sense? Um, so, do you need to write out to the side why you put Kansas? I used to make them do that. In fact, I think I did last year, and I don't think this group did that. Because usually they'll have cell membrane Kansas. Why? Why did you use Kansas? All right. Um, endoplasmic reticulum, and it goes all the way through. Once again, like I said, I'm going to highlight them here. I think the protein, you should do it first. What is, what are, what's your goal? If you decide you want to do, a cell is like volleyball, what's your goal? Well, the goal is to win. Okay, well, how do you win? That's your ribosome. Maybe it's, maybe it's the players. The players work as a team. That's how we win. Okay, well, then who makes the players? The nucleolus. So maybe that's the coach. All right, well, okay, the nucleus or I'm sorry, yeah, the nucleus, though, holds all the instructions. So who is that? Is that like your, your refs or something? Um, I don't know. So anyways, there's so many ways you can go with it, but I always go protein. Okay, what makes my protein? My ribosome. Okay, now what makes my ribosome? My nucleolus. Once I get those three done, I feel like those are the hardest three. Once I get those three done, then I can go back through and figure out the others. If you guys need any help on this or if you want to just run something by me or send something to me and say, hey, does this make sense? Or, hey, I can't think of anything for this one. What, what do you think? I will have that discussion with you guys. All right? So just let me know if there's anything at all that you need. All right. See ya.